Hey, if you're looking for a really easy way to study on the go, to learn or review vocabulary, Quizlet is a super handy flashcard app that also has games and activities. And so let me show you how to use it and also how to best use all the different features that it has and give you some tips along the way so you can make sure that you walk away actually remembering more. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own set, how to best find and utilize somebody else's set, a better way to use the flashcards, and which games and activities to focus your energy on that help you learn more. Hey, Genevieve here from Breakout and Speak, language learner, teacher, and coach, trying to help you learn a language way better and make it more fun. So let's get into it. So let's jump right in and let me show you the best parts of Quizlet. And first of all, right here, it says 90% of people who use Quizlet report higher grades. Now, I can't confirm or deny, but actually I wouldn't be really surprised if that were true because it is a really handy tool when you're trying to learn or review something such as, let's say, a language or really anything. First steps, I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. If you don't, you can sign up. You can log in through Google, Facebook, etc. I'm just gonna log in here. And this is the screen that you come to, which includes your most recent sets. Now, just FYI, I am using the free version and there is a, a paid version that is premium that has a lot of additional features, which I can go over in a separate video that are very useful, but you actually get a lot in just the free version. So let me show you. So Quizlet is primarily known as a flashcard app and it's like flashcards, but on steroids. There's so many things you can do with them. So let me show you how to make your own set. First come to here where it says create and create a study set. You will be then prompted <laughs> to sign up for Quizlet Plus, which has a lot of great features I can get into in another video. But let's try just the free version for now. So let's say I'm learning Spanish and I want to talk about food. And for the purposes of today's tutorial, let's keep it easy and straightforward with a word and its definition. But I have a lot of tips on how to better use flashcards to expand from that, that I'm happy to go over in a future video. Drop a comment. Let me know if you'd like me to do that. But let's start with la comida, which is food. Now, down here, term definition, this is where I'm going to put on the left, keep the languages separate. If you're doing a language or if you have a term and a definition of the term, keep them on both sides. Now, if I start typing, let's say uh, candy, some options start popping up in different languages. So I can either click on los dulces in Spanish or make sure that they know what language I am working with, which actually is quite many, or I can just say the word I'm looking for. Let's say Spanish. There you go. Now this whole row will now assume that it's Spanish and this whole row here on the left, it will assume is English, which is important later on when we get to some of the other features to keep them separate. And I'll show you why in just a moment. So while the auto populate feature is super handy and a way to save time, I can get into why it actually is better for you to type them out in a bit for your memory. And also don't forget, it's not automatically correct because this is orange the color, this is orange the fruit. So it's important to know which one you're going for. Notice when you're working in another language, the symbols and different letters of that language do pop up if you need to use them. One feature that I really love about Quizlet that makes it super easy to make flashcards that are better than your average flashcard is the image feature. Once you have your terms, automatically it gives you some choices of some images that you can use on your flashcards. And tip, definitely use them. It helps your memory start to associate the image or the thing with the new word that you are trying to learn. So in the, ooh, that looks delicious. <laughs> Alrighty, um, excuse me, coming back now. Uh, if you <laughs> don't get distracted by delicious ice cream <laughs> and go off to have some in the middle of your study session, definitely recommended to use 
images as you go. And if you ever want to change it, click the this trash can next to the image. It'll get rid of the image. And you could choose a different one if you wanted to. If you have Quizlet Premium, you can upload your own images as well as change the font, etc. However, even in the free version, you have access to a lot of images to choose from. One last note on creating a set before we move on into how to use the set is visibility. Now, a feature of Quizlet is it allows you to share your set with other people, which on the flip side, you can study from other people's sets, which can be very helpful. Now, if you want that not to happen, just change the visibility to just you or somebody with a password if, for example, you wanted to send it to just a friend. So now let me show you how to best find and use somebody else's set. So if you come over here, now, if you're learning Spanish, I would not suggest just typing in Spanish because you're going to get all sorts of random things. What is Spanish Spanish? I can't tell you. So be a little more specific. Let's say, let's keep with the food theme, even though this is still pretty vague. And if you notice down here, these sets come with images and this person, this user is a teacher. So if you click on the set, <laughs> love the description, food, 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 all right, you will see the flashcards. This is in the edit mode. You can scroll down to see if this is what you're looking for. And if you want to save the set, you can click this copy looking button that is then creates your own set that just copied exactly what they had. So once you have the set copied and now is in your account, if you don't want a term, you can get rid of it. You can, of course, edit it, change the image, etc. Add one if you want to. And don't forget, it auto saves, but if you want to actually save this set as your own, click create up here and now it is on your account as well. Now, should you make your own set or use somebody else's? Now, as easy as it seems to just use something else that already exists, it actually doesn't help you learn. I know, I'm sorry. It's the process of making the cards, going through the images that actually helps your brain retain more information. And a lot of people have told me who are studying languages that just the pure fact of making the flashcards actually helps them remember more. Now it is up to you and the time I can see it coming in more handy, even though it's easier and better for your memory to make your own is if you are studying from a specific textbook and the vocab list is something that you go straight to. For example, the gente is the name of a textbook somebody has already made if you notice there are other textbooks as well flashcards with this set and here are the terms from this textbook some other handy features right here if you want to share the set with somebody else you can easily share the set if they have a quizlet account or if you like old school flashcards you can print them so now that we have a couple sets let's use them. So Quizlet is a flashcard app, but it has a lot of things that you can do with them. Some activities are better for learning things, some are better for reviewing, and some are more fun. So let me first show you how to better use the flashcards, and then I'll get into the games and activities. So let's go into the set we created. First of all, I would not study from this screen. You have everything together not the best way to learn. So go here to flashcards. Wait, before you get started, tip, go down to options and turn the audio on. It's up to you to have the English on or off, but definitely if you're learning another language, super helpful, super important, helps your memory if you hear the word 
at the same time. Even if you're not learning another language, this can be helpful. So, and this is how you change what you answer with. I would like to go from English to Spanish, so I'm answering with Spanish. And now I have the ability to use the flashcards. So easily navigate the card by clicking on it to flip it. Los dulces. And now it talks to you. You can also use the buttons down here to go back and forth. Well, what I like to do is if you're on a computer, use the up and down arrow key El helado. to flip the card or the space bar and the left and right arrows to go forward. El chocolate. So let's say a word is giving you a hard time. If you want to make sure to come back to it later, come up here to the star and then you can focus later on just the words or terms that you need to concentrate on. So let's check out some other really cool features that Quizlet has that makes it like a flashcard app, but on steroids, because you can do so much more than just study the flashcards. So once you are in a study set on this page, you can notice that there are different activities and some games that you can play using the terms that you have. And some I like and recommend more than others. So among the activities, there's one that I like the best. First of all, learn. They give you short, small groups of questions to try to learn the material that's in your flashcard set. In write, La manzana. you have to, well, spelling it out in English doesn't help me if I'm learning Spanish. So if that's the case, you find yourself in that situation, go to your options, change what you answer with. Chocolate. El chocolate. In spell, you get prompted with El helado. the audio, and then you have to write it out. So one activity that I really like from all these choices is test because you can change the type of questions and cater it to you. All right, let's actually make it so it's a little bit harder. True, false. I would take off and multiple choice because then it makes it too easy. And if it's too easy, you won't actually walk away remembering the material. Matching is okay. The best is written. You can also change the number of questions that are included, especially useful if you have a larger set with lots of terms and you can choose to go in either direction, either with a language or term and definition and create a new test and there you go now you have some matching questions and other ones that you type in as well another option if you prefer pen and paper you can always print the test so once you've taken the test it gives you a score and you can retest the things that you got wrong and also scroll down to see directly which things you most need to work. But what about you? Which activity in Quizlet do you like the best? So one feature I really like about Quizlet is has a couple of games. Yes, games that you can play with your study set in order to practice your words. Now the quick and easy one that can become a competition is Match, where they all show on screen and you drag one onto the other and notice on the left it is timing you so you feel the pressure and then you can check <laughs> your timing. And also if you are in a class with other people, well, right now I'm not, <laughs> it is just, hey, I win, check me out. If you were in a class with other people, an added bonus is you can see your name at the top of the leaderboard and have a friendly competition with other people in the class as you try to beat your time. So match is a fun and quick game just to test your recognition, but to actually make sure you remember the terms better, check out gravity. Okay, as the terms, well, let's check the settings first. I'm gonna study all, I'm gonna type in Spanish and let's go, let's go hard. This determines how fast the asteroids fall. And as the asteroids fall, you see here, they will have words and you have to 
type them in in Spanish or whatever language before they reach your planet. <laughs> and you see the <laughs> ah, the added time <laughs> crunch of um, it falling will make you work faster in its game. Let's say I messed it up. Did no, it took me. Ah, no veggie burger. <laughs> okay. So if it does, maybe I didn't know it. Oh, I think it was a don't know. If I happen to not know it, it does prompt me. And in order to continue the game, you have to type it in, which is actually really helpful when you're trying to learn. So all in all, Quizlet can be a great resource for you to use when you're learning a foreign language or really anything else that you want to learn. It's so easy to use, so easy to set up has a ton of great features, even in the free version, you can add pictures and have it speak to you. Definitely bonus points for that. It has a couple games, has lots of activities, and it tracks your progress here so you can concentrate on the things that you most need to focus on, which is really helpful as well. So all in all, Quizlet is a great flashcard app on steroids because of all the other features that it offers you as well. But what about you? Do you use Quizlet? What do you like about it? Is there something I missed that you would like me to go over? Drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And subscribe, stick around for more ways to learn a language easier, faster, and make it way more fun. Out for now, we'll catch you soon.